What's up guys, Peter Mod Panda here. Hey, you know that I've been into the folding bikes here recently and I found this one. Um, it's not like a brand new, I've seen these for years and just never picked one up, but it's like a mini folding bike. And I think, you know, to my buddy Josh's comment, um, you know, how travelable or commutable are those other folding bikes with the 20 inch wheels? Probably not very, but this one has like eight inch wheels and I think they're the kind of the rubber ones like a rollerblade or something like that. So this one should be significantly more compact. The question is, can you really ride it? Does it work? Is it actually even better than walking? So let's get this thing set up and take a look and see what you get. All right guys, so I wanna just show you first what you get right out of the box. Uh, this is actually how it came shipped to me. And first thing I'll notice is that we do have a manual, which I will kind of peruse through. We also have a bag here, and I think this is for um, only it around when it's folded up. So kind of a pretty decent sized duffel bag there. And A for adulterer right there. Um, you know, it's kind of like a standard duffel bag, to be really honest. Kind of seems like tough nylon, nylon straps. And then we have a small tool kit here. Uh, you know, a wrench and some Allen wrenches. So, and then we've got the bike itself, and it looks at least initially like it is kind of assembled. So, there it is. I mean, looks like it's kind of completely assembled. So I'm just going to kind of read the instructions and take off all the protective stuff here and then give it a look. Some cool anodized blue aluminum. Let's check it out. All right, so I did read through the manual here. It doesn't look like it's too hard. God bless the people that put things together. You guys are really fetch. Um, so this thing comes to, apparently it looks like it's kind of all together. You just have to follow the instructions. It is called an A-bike, so that's probably what the A stands for, not adulterer, <laughs> which is sad because otherwise it would be perfect for me. And it looks pretty cool and it's pretty light, but this is definitely commutable as opposed to those other bikes, which are kind of like real bikes. They just fold up for, uh, convenience. A couple cool things that I've noticed here is that the, the seat folds all the way flat. Even the pedals here um, flip out. So that's pretty cool. And then I've also noticed that they have like drum brakes. Might be a little hard to see there, but I mean, that's what it looks like to me is that they have <laughs> drum brakes on there. So that's kind of funny. I haven't seen those on cars, uh, bikes since the 60s. 60s. All right, let's go ahead and put this thing together. All right, so let's see if we can set this thing up. I'm just gonna follow the instructions here. And the first thing we need to do, there's a lot of like push button locks, I think, on everything. So, I'm gonna lock the handlebars. And you can see little buttons here that kinda, I guess, go into tabs or into little holes. So, oh, lifts up and then kinda pushes in. You can see the little button there. Lift it up and push it in and it locks in there. So that's locking the handlebars up. And then you just push these down, I think, to extend and lock it back down. So that's step number one. Then we're going to lift up, apparently, the seat here. It just lifts up just like this. Go on to the next step. You're gonna pull the handlebars up here. So you're gonna kind of lift them up to telescope up in there for a second. All right, here we go. Just gonna pull this thing up. Looks like the seat kind of trusses out there. I'm gonna pull it up to the top. Looks like there's a hole right there, so I'm guessing there's gonna be a button that comes out in there. There we go. Heard a click somewhere in there. Oh, there's buttons right here on this side. On the front post, they popped out, but on the back post, I still haven't pulled this one out far enough. So, keep fighting it a little. There we go. Now I've got the back button to pop out there too. Once you get the seat post raised, there are some clamps here that you just want to tighten down. One on the front, like that, and one on the back. I think that's gonna just make it extra safe and kind of tighten those up so they don't move around on you. Then, you're gonna push this middle down. There's a little button that's po that pops up, I think, when it goes all the way down. Yep, and that popped up there. And that's locked this lower cross member in place. It does wiggle just a little bit, but I don't think that's gonna be a problem but that button popped up as it should. And then we are going to deploy the pedals, which is really just pretty easy. And then as far as I can tell, they lock into place. And I think to push them in 
to fold them back down. So they lock on the back here, which is kind of cool. They're a little spring loaded, so I can do both sides here. Just fold them down, feel the resistance there. And, and now you can adjust your seat here too uh, with, there's a little latch. It's kind of like every other bicycle seat right under here. Now what's interesting to me on the seat adjustment is that there's also a little button here that'll lock the seat into a couple of different positions as well. Obviously that's a little different than a lot of bikes that um, will just, you know, hold the post in place with a, with a tightening ring here. So you have both the post or the button and then this, this tightening latch as well. So that's kind of, that's kind of cool. So handbrakes seem to work and everything else. Um, it says maximum weight, 187 pounds, but <laughs> we're gonna forget that and just try it out here. I think I'm kind of impressive overall. Little reflector tape on the back, so you have that on the back. I don't see anything on the front. Um, let me just give you a quick tour around the thing before we take it out on the road. All right, so we got this thing set up. I'm standing right next to it, about five foot eight. And as you can see, I mean, the thing is pretty light, obviously much lighter than those other folding bikes. Uh, meant to be taken with you. I mean, everything is like aluminum and plastic. I mean, all the tubes are aluminum, obviously anodized in blue here. Um, the gearbox and all these coverings here are all plastic. Uh, pretty robust plastic, but they have pretty sharp edges, you know, pretty unfinished edges. So you can kind of tell, I mean, for 120 bucks, I'm pretty impressed with it. And actually what I was doing is playing around with the brakes here and the brakes absolutely lock up the tires. Now, one of the things that you might notice is that the tires <laughs> Are only eight inches and they're pretty narrow too so look i've locked up the tires but i can kind of drag the bike around so um, from a braking standpoint if i lock up the front one here you know um you you probably want to be just really aware of where you're biking as well as opposed to just relying on these these brakes and these tires but the brakes seem to work um, but obviously high speed is going to be a problem and then because of the short wheelbase maneuverability is also going to be a little bit um sacrifice now Everything seems to be roughly in the place where you'd expect on a regular bike, even the pedals here, which reverse like you'd expect, and then they lock going forward. So uh, you should be able to, um, you know, propel yourself without a problem. There are also reflectors on the pedals too, which I like. Now, the bike doesn't have gears per se, but they do put this little like low tech bell on it. It's like a little hammer and a bell. Move, move get out the way seems to be some adjustment for the brakes right here in case you need to do that so uh, assuming you wanted to dial it in a little bit but otherwise that's what you get and you know so far I guess I'm pretty pleased with it now let's see if it rides this little a bike and see if it really could accompany you if you have long commutes all right guys so let me give you my final thoughts on this a bike mini bike um i actually really like it and i think it's a it's a good value what i also notice is there's some reflectors here some reflector tape on the side so you do have a little tail and side reflection um protection and the, uh, like i said the ones on the pedal too but um i couldn't get any f footage of me riding this thing i couldn't do it one-handed this is a two-handed bike for sure and i think the nature of it is because you have all these little button kind of uh stops and things like that and the construction of it you know particularly this cross member that you know has has a little bit of play the whole bike just feels like it's a little has a little bit of play it just has a kind of a little bit of wiggle um kind of a, a lack of rigidity that you know a normal bike would have right and so you just have to understand what you're getting and uh that being said even the handles right because you know these are meant to extend out and be folded back they just have a little play right so what i noticed is that you have confidence in it when you have both hands on the bars not necessarily trying to you know hold anything obviously i am more than 187 pounds and so i was pressing the limits of it so you don't want to judge its kind of quality based on that exclusively the other thing is because of the short wheelbase like i said turning is not the easiest thing in the world that front wheel is really right under your knees and you can do it what i noticed is that in the higher speeds what you'd want to do is take turns with a pretty wide radius uh, taking slow turns at or very sharp turns at very slow speeds is the hardest you almost want to fall over on it and so that uh, is kind of the nature of it you know just turning around as you saw in the video of me turning around in the driveway was pretty tough and that uh that's a little gnarly now you can just put your feet down and you know stabilize yourself but 
if you're not paying attention or if you're a little top heavy because you're wearing a book bag or something like that that could be a problem too now the other thing that i want to throw out there is uh, the effects of having a single gear so as far as i know you only have one gear in this little bad boy which is what you'd expect and for very flat surfaces it's probably fine actually because what i noticed is i could get up to definitely speeds that were better than walking or jogging and you're putting in no extra effort you are real really and literally biking and getting kind of all the mechanical advantage of that now the problem with it is what i'm assuming is like a, just a direct drive chain in here is that uh, just because of that single speed nature when you start either getting like an uphill slope to things it gets pretty difficult to continue to pedal you can't change gears and so even a, a pretty mild upward slope can be pretty pretty rough uh, i definitely noticed that now if you're in the midwest most places are going to be really flat and that's going to be perfect for you but if you have a lot of hills and things like that probably not the right thing i can understand why they made this type of bike with an electric motor and a battery pack i don't think they made this specific one but i've seen a lot of the smaller ones with electric motors because that seems to make a lot of sense right uh because then you can kind of regulate the power as opposed to uh having to put gears in the bike which could be really really tough so overall i'm pretty impressed with it um i guess the last thing i will say here is I'm assuming it's pretty easy to collapse and put in its bag, so we will take a look at that too. But um, as we're doing that and taking a look at that, I'll just talk about the value here. So the, the really cool thing about this bike is it was about 120 bucks. picked it up on Amazon, didn't come two-day prime, unfortunately, but came pretty quickly. And as you saw there, it's pretty much assembled out of the box. You just have to know the procedure to set it up and put it down. So I think you could really use this, you know, if you had a you know, if you took the train in the city and had a mile long commute, you know, this could be definitely be a lifesaver. There it is. The A-bike. Mini folding bike. Peter Von Panda. Out!